Seat of the pants, I think, Gary. <laughs> Instinct. Wow, that's like trying to consolidate a career into a one-liner. Um, and with all the wonderful writers with whom I've been affiliated, you'd think I could do that. I think the most important thing is to listen and then translate it into visuals. That's why I loved going to readings of the first scripts, because I would listen, and afterwards I would listen to the performers, maybe my director, and then Instinctively, I probably would have felt something from that first reading. You know, it's interesting when you get a first impression. And it's usually important to follow that, if you can. Unless it absolutely butts heads with whoever you're putting clothes on. And they might come around to your way diplomatically. A costumer's tools are texture, line and color in that order. And I think of a character in those three terms. It doesn't have anything to do with today's fashion. And in television, sometimes the story is told from here up, so all you may get is a collar. And whether that is chiffon or dimity or Oxford or silk can tell a story like that. Or the lack of a collar. The next is line, and particularly for comedy. I mean, you've asked me about why sometimes you're close to the body or why do you swing from the shoulders. Line, the silhouette, can tell a story, particularly in comedy, faster than almost anything. And then last of all is color. And that's the fun. That's just the fun. That's, that's icing on the cake.